Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this three minute tip, I'm gonna answer the question, why is my website not secure? So a lot of clients have contacted me recently and they're concerned because people are telling them their website is not secure or they're seeing browser warnings like this one here that says their website is not secure. So it's unlikely that anything happened with your website to make it not secure. But what has changed is that browsers like Google Chrome are now flagging sites that don't have HTTPS SSL security. And that type of security would um, encrypt all of the transfer of information from your website and to your website server. Um, so if you look at this warning, it says you should not enter any sensitive information on this site, for example, passwords or credit cards, because it could be stolen by attackers. So that means it's just out there publicly and it's not encrypted. For a lot of sites, it doesn't matter a whole lot because nothing's really being transmitted except the public info like this text and images, which are already displayed publicly anyway. But it is good practice now just to have HTTPS or SSL security, and that will make your website secure. Um, one thing that would be transmitted on a website like this and on most websites is just a contact us form. So if I was to fill this out as a visitor and input you know, sensitive information or any information about myself here and click submit, it's going to be sent to this website host and it won't be encrypted because the site is not secure. And this obviously becomes more important when credit card information or other sensitive information is being sent. So if your website is showing as not secure, you do want to take steps to secure it. It's going to make your visitors feel better when they see it. And what they will see is a lock icon like this rather than a not secure message like this. So I've done a couple other videos on SSL, one that shows you how to install SSL on a WordPress website. And then I did a Q&A video on the difference between free and paid SSL certificates where I get into some of the details on what the SSL certificates actually are and what they do. So you can contact your host to get an SSL certificate and make sure to check out my videos for more information. And uh, I'll link to the Q&A video here. You can go check that out now.